What's up, everybody? It's Laura, Vegan RV, and that's Kevin back there. Hey, I'm back here. <laughs> and uh, we we did a thing. I don't even know what it is. Kevin knows what it is. <laughs> Do I? Yeah. We're not going to tell you right now, though. We're going to go get the thing and take you along. So It's going to be um, like... Nope. Six videos from now till you see what it is. No, it'll all be in one video, I promise. Uh, Shh. No. Yeah, no, we're not like those other YouTubers. You're not going to believe what happens on the way to pick up this. <laughs> <laughs> what happened? So, Kevin just revealed what we were doing. And Laura edited it out. So, yes. now... <laughs> now let's go do this thing. You still don't know what we're getting. <laughs> Yeah, you'll never guess. Come along for the ride. Yeah. Let's go. It wasn't on your on your 2021 bingo card, I bet. No. It wasn't on mine. No. <laughs> All right, let's go. Just walking around. Here's all the different all around. This is the beach at La Ventana. That's an island over there. Which keeps and everything in here is pretty shallow. What's that? Sorry. Wait, what's Kevin doing on that side of the car? That's weird. That is weird. Wait, did they flip something around? Are we in the upside down? <laughs> oh, we're in the lefty righty. Oh. Not okay. in the upside down. Yeah, alright. Well, we'll show you a little bit more in a few minutes. Kevin, what did you do? You said you wanted another mini. Not a mini van. Say what? <laughs> but it's a minivan. Uh, four by four. Yes. Hold on. Four by four. Mm -hmm. So we've actually been looking at this specific model vehicle for quite a while now. Since we were in Golden, Colorado. That's when we saw our first one in real life. Yeah. Kevin wanted that one so bad. So if you go back to the video, you might see me lusting over it. Yeah. But uh, anyway, so we've been down here in Mexico and we've been without a vehicle. And you know, we only thought we were gonna be here for like a month or two. Yeah. Um, and moving around quite a bit. But now that we've been here for a while, it's like, you know, kind of want a vehicle. We've been going off road, kind of want to go off road mm -hmm. and this happened. This happened. <laughs> These people happened to sell it while they're down yeah. here. They were upgrading their place in Toto Santos yep. and moving on to a bigger vehicle when they travel. Mm -hmm. um, yeah, so they got like a Sprinter or something like that. A Transit. Transit. Yep. Uh, and so we got to pick this one up. Yep. Got a good deal. Um, it's in great shape. So to tell you a little bit about it, it's a 1991 Mitsubishi Delica GLX 
with the 4D56 engine. It's diesel, automatic. It's uh, too high, too low, too high, four low, four high. So four by four, uh, it's not automatic. You have to manually switch that part, but yeah. uh, it's not like push button. Remember, 1991. Yeah. Um, and it's, Kind of stock, kind of campy, camper-like. I shouldn't say campy. Yeah, so they it did. Kind of campy. They did a little bit to it yeah. um, to make it work to be a camper. Yeah. Um, which is pretty cool. Um, I don't know how much of that we'll keep, but we've decided to go ahead and keep it like that for a while and yeah. kind of feel it out before we do anything to it. But once you see it, the additional parts are still available to us. We yeah. can go pick them up yes. when we get back to the U.S. Speaking of camper vans, <laughs> look at these people creeping on us. Yep. Yeah, get out of see here. Them back there. See, they listened. Yeah. Mm -hmm. What are we going to do? Take them on a tour? Yeah, let's go ahead Inside? and take them on a tour at, uh, now that they've seen us um, driving it a little bit. And um, yeah. So the first cool thing about this vehicle, yeah. there's the driver's Yeah, side. I don't know if you can see with the glare where the... Right steering wheel is yeah it's so it's a right hand drive yeah uh this vehicle was imported from japan to canada, canada and then once it hit the 25 year mark it was had the ability to be imported into the united states mm -hmm. it's tagged in the u.s so we're all good yeah. we just bought it in mexico we paid u.s yeah. dollars for it yeah um so super cool right um so we'll just start with the front right you have the bull bar down here. We got the additional lights. Um, we'll probably change this up a little bit depending on if we keep it. Again, we're not towing this, so we're gonna have yeah. to decide between the minis that we have which one we're gonna keep. <laughs> yep. So you guys gotta let us know in the comments which one do you think we should keep. Yeah, do you think we should go four by four with or, uh, you know, weekend excur or excursion roar, options? Roar. Or roar, roar, roar. Ah, I see what I did there. <laughs> um, anyway, so thought of what to do up here putting a winch changing these to leds putting an led bar on the top i can almost guarantee you that kevin is putting an led bar on top yes i've <laughs> wanted one so bad i want to put one on the rv you wanted to put one on the subaru yes <laughs> i'd put one on the mini yeah true anyway let's show them. okay so right. outside you'll notice the mirror in the front you'll notice the extended mirror over on the other side. And we'll show you all about that, but that allows us to see down straight in front of the vehicle. Um, and with the way that everything is done, you have to push that mirror out. Otherwise you wouldn't be able to see the mirror um, yeah. at all. And between all the mirrors, you can basically see every point of the vehicle, can't you? Yeah, because there's also, instead of a backup camera, there's a mirror that tilted down. So I'll show you yeah. that. Um, so anyway, you have uh, footsteps up here, or kind of guards for the front, and open her up. Uh, this is it, man. So anyway, it's an automatic uh, vehicle, um, and you'll see right here is the... Uh, yeah, I'll bring you in in a second. Yeah, to do all the, the four-wheel drive, everything. Some of the buttons and things we don't understand. There's we just learned about blow here. plugs. Uh, so it definitely is a lot different than a regular vehicle. Um, you have the assist handle, you know, to, to get up here and into the vehicle. Yeah, I don't know what else to say. It's got automatic windows. So that's nice. So that's nice. The Especially doors are 91. manual. Huh? Especially for 91, because a yeah. lot of that was crank, crank, crank. Right, exactly. Um, so a lot of the things are in weird places because the engine, we're gonna sit on it. I'll show it to you here in a bit. Um, but like for instance, right here is uh, the brake fluid <laughs> reservoir. Just happens to be like around the side. So you'll notice kind of on the ground, it looks like there's a leak. So we know that it's not through the metal, um, that the master brake cylinder is like right behind here and it's leaking. We have a new one and we're gonna get it switched out. I already read all about it, you know, good times. It has a stereo, probably need to upgrade the speakers and want to upgrade the stereo, but yeah, anyway. Oh, yeah, and uh, we should say, because it's a right-hand drive, the turn signal. The turn signal the... is on this side where normally your wipers are, yeah. and your wipers are on the other side. Yes. So you'll notice if you ever see a Delica going down the road that's a right-hand drive, typically 
uh, if they're going to make a turn, the, the windshield wipers, wipers come on <laughs> <laughs> accidentally. Uh, I've done it a couple of times so far. Um, it's really fun to drive. It's really weird to get used to where the rear view mirror is and situating yourself on the road, but you do it for a couple minutes and it's just like second nature at that point. Yeah. Um, cool. So I'll take you to the other side, the passenger side. Yeah, so you'll see this mirror here aims down the front uh, of the minivan and um, see that. so you can see the front. Yeah, that's starting to rain on us, man. Of course we were going to do this during the rain. Yeah. Um, so here's the passenger side of the vehicle. We're going to move this real quick and to see the engine. Here's the engine. <laughs> so you'll notice that is not rust. That is a lot of dirt. We've been taking this thing off road and the dirt down here is orange, kind of like in Georgia. So that's all dirt. Yeah. Um, so yeah, you can get to it. And then also the driver's side does come up. You have to unbolt it. Um, but there's some additional things that you can get to over on that side. Maybe like the air filter and stuff like that. But anyway, super cool. A lot of stuff is in Japanese. Here, <laughs> here. We don't even know what that says. We don't know what any of it says. Um, but yeah, anyway, it's a 2500 CC. Oh, that was the other thing I forgot to show you. On the dash, everything is in kilometers because it is a Japanese vehicle. So we're gonna have to deal with that um one cool thing the uh the gas tank is right here to lift it there's actually a knob over on this side um i've got a sticker that says diesel only that's coming so that i remember because i've never owned a diesel vehicle before so like trying to figure all that out so we got the cool tommy bahama pull shades those are that. done by the people that owned it before us there's um, actually a whole set of shades that came with it, um, which we may get. All the windows do pop open from the side. Um, yeah, so show you in here. So we have a second row of seats. The one cool thing about this seat is if Laura and I do decide to travel in here, um, we can, now I gotta remember which one this is. <laughs> this one. Oh, yeah. We can turn around and start working on this side and still have a backed yeah. uh, a seat to lay back in. Yeah. You'll see the foam. So this whole piece slides out to a, f a bed um, and they built, you know, some, some cabinets there. Yeah, we'll so, show you those from the back hatch. Yeah, so anyway, um, there can, there's an additional row plus there's a jump seat on this side. Uh, again, it's not there. Um, right. We have, we have the ability to get them. We just have to go pick them up in California, I think. Yeah. So anyway, that's kind of cool. The, uh, the rear has its own climate controls, um, AC, the whole nine yards. So this is the higher roof. Um, yeah. Nice and dirty over there. This thing had <laughs> ashtrays in it. That's crazy. <laughs> but anyway, all the vent is in the roof here. Um, see that up in there. So... Yeah. Anyway, that's the inside of that. <laughs> and then we come to the back. Uh, the ti uh, additional tires mount underneath. It's a full tire. Yeah, you can see it down there. Um, and then when I told you about the mirror, so this is the mirror and it aims down. So from the rear view mirror, we can look and we can see straight down the back. Yeah. May end up installing a backup camera just because I'm super used to backup cameras and it would make it so much easier. Anyway, oh no. Oh, that was close. Oh, no. All right, so here's the back. You'll see we've been driving through massive dirt clouds oh, yeah. here. Yeah, um, you're gonna see in a little bit why it looks like that. Yeah, 
So to get to these, we just lift these two little screws. We have, it's something engineered by them. I just I pulled the screw out yeah. here. Um, and so now we have all this storage. I took out a propane tank that was over here. They have a stove, all the cookware, additional air filters. Uh, we took out some chairs, some tent poles. This is a whole shade cloth that can, can come out from the, the back of the... Uh, I want to keep calling this an RV or a vehicle <laughs> or a minivan. I don't know what to call it. Um, a fun mobile. Yeah. Funness. Uh, yeah, they so had yeah, a... As a separate windshield wiper reservoir just for the back. Um, yeah, they had a nice uh, roll-up table that was back here. There were two chairs. Which we're using out front. Yeah, we're using Because I them. like it so much. Um, what else was there? Maybe oh, that's no, what? Yeah. Anyway, so it's kind of a cute little setup. It's awesome. I'm super psyched on it. Mm -hmm. um, we've been having fun uh, driving it around. We're getting constant looks, especially when I'm in the vehicle by myself driving. Everybody's like, who's driving that thing? <laughs> and, you know, we get, hey, man, that's so cool <laughs> driving around. So it's fun. Um, yeah, I'm just psyched. We have like a four wheel drive vehicle down here in mm -hmm. Mexico that we can definitely use up in the U.S. Yeah. Uh, you know, and if Laura and I want to go out for a day or two, we can just use this vehicle and just go and sleep and still be able to sleep inside. We don't have a mm -hmm. toilet. Right. Um, but, yeah. Oh, um, one thing we haven't mentioned about it is uh, its top speed. Uh, yeah, so the, the range for the speed, it shows up to like 180 kilometers an hour. It's probably going to do like 80 <laughs> yeah. tops, which is like 60 miles an hour. Yeah, it's and that's like going, yeah, I think is there. That's like down a hill, wind behind you yeah. type of thing. Um, they're not meant for speed. No. At all. So it'll slow me down in the RV. But it's so much fun to drive. Yeah. Anyway. Yeah, so Delica. Delica. Uh, is short for delivery car. Yeah. And originally these were like little delivery trucks for. Yeah. So where the, the whole Japanese back end market. is, it was just it cut off and then was almost looked like a flatbed, but it was it had sides to it. Mm -hmm. um, and those were super cool. Yeah. Uh, a couple other things. This thing is super narrow. Yeah. And the wheelbase is super narrow. Mm -hmm. So, and with you sitting on top of the the wheels, man, the. Uh, <laughs> The speed bumps are no joke. Yeah. I've sent people flying in, in there so far. Well, yeah, that was when it you happens. didn't notice. <laughs> yeah, it was a hidden one. Yeah. Um, so, so, yeah, bumps in the road are definitely way different. The, uh, um, and it's so narrow. Like, you can drift in wait. this thing. Well, also, I'm used to driving the big-ass RV. <laughs> right? And the Mini's kind of wide compared to this. Yeah, the Mini, well, it feels wide, certainly, because it's so low to the ground. Yeah, this thing, you're up high, and it's pretty compact, but yeah. it still has a lot of room. We've been watching videos of people decking these things mm -hmm. out, uh, you know, sprinter van style. Yeah. Obviously, you can't stand up in this. We have seen, like, camper tops put on them, but I think we more or less want this to kind of go more off-road versus live in or yeah, camp in. Yeah, no, I'm not full-timing in it. <laughs> well, no, I wasn't saying full-timing. Yeah, I said no. camp in. Yeah. Well, yeah. Yeah. But, yeah. Yeah. Okay, well, so we did take it out on its first little kind of four-wheelish adventure. That was fun. Yeah. So, a good time. So we'll show you that now. All right. Boom.
know this video is getting long. Um, I'll show you more of our trip into the hills another time because um, we do a lot of fun stuff that doesn't have to do with the Delica. Um, so if you want to keep in touch, see what we're up to, go ahead and subscribe and hit the notification bell and you'll get notified when we put out a new video. And remember to watch to the end for fun surprise. See you next time. Why did you say that? I know. I just messed it up, huh? Let's start over. <laughs>